Top 5 Best Boomboxes with CD Players Number 5. Panasonic RXD 55 GCK Panasonic RXD 55 GCK is, along with Studebaker SB2145R, one of the priciest, most versatile, and best-sounding portable CD players with speakers on this list. It doesn't have that retro look like the Studebaker and it lacks Bluetooth connectivity but, in all the other ways, it's just as good as the Studebaker. Unlike Studebaker, this one has a cassette deck and can play audio files from a USB stick. Things we like. RXD55 has a standard boombox design, similar to previously reviewed Sony CD players. It's not exactly small and it weighs 8 pounds, but there's a nice sturdy handle on the top which makes the transportation much easier. The majority of the front panel is occupied by the speakers. This player houses four drivers, two three in woofers and two six in tweeters. In the center of the front panel, you'll see the on-off button, volume controls, small LCD display, AUX input, USB input, tuning buttons, and playback controls. There's also the EQ button so you can play with different EQ presets. At the bottom of the front panel, there's the disc tray. You can open it by pressing the CD open or close button. The remote that comes with the player is quite useful. It doesn't look cheap and allows you to control everything without having to stand next to the player. It's a great addition to the package. On the top panel, you have the cassette deck and six buttons for controlling the tape playback and recording. On the back, there's the AC input, voltage selector, FM antenna, and headphone output. The battery compartment is on the bottom the player requires 8C size batteries and 4AA batteries. As you can see, there are so many options for music playback. Besides CD playback capabilities, this device can be used as a radio. You can also play music from a USB stick or you can connect some audio source with analog audio outputs and use the player as a speaker. You can even listen to your old audio tapes if you still have those. Panasonic RXD55 doesn't have a rechargeable battery but can run on batteries, you just have to buy them separately. One thing we were not impressed by is the battery life. Sure, this is probably one of the loudest portable CD players with speakers on this list, but we have expected a little bit more than 5 hours of CD playback at moderate volumes. In FM mode, you will get up to 9 hours of battery life. Thanks to those four drivers, RXD55 delivers a nicely balanced sound with quite detailed mid-range and treble. As always, the bass response is the biggest issue with tiny speakers. Things we don't like RXD55 lacks Bluetooth connectivity which is quite a surprise considering the price. We've seen Bluetooth connectivity on much cheaper CD players. Coming in number 4. Studebaker SB2145R Studebaker SSB2145R is a real blast from the past. Its design is inspired by the old-school boomboxes from the 80s. At first glance, you can't even notice the difference between this one and some old boombox cassette player. However, when you take a closer look, you'll see that Studebaker SB2145R has CD transport instead of a cassette deck and it features Bluetooth connectivity. Like most old-school boomboxes, Studebaker has a built-in FM tuner and it features AUX inputs and outputs. On top of that, Studebaker has built-in lights and a rechargeable battery. The biggest downside is the price. It's one of the most expensive portable CD players with speakers on the market. Things we like. If you are into retro stuff, you're going to love this player. It's maybe a bit too boxy for today's standards, but there are still people that enjoy this kind of design. The speakers are located on the front left and front right ends. This player features two 4 in woofers and two 1. 5 in tweeters. In the middle, you have the CD transport and backlit EQ bars. All the control buttons are located on the top. Besides the standard playback controls and volume and tuning dials, the player features bass, treble, and balance knobs. It also has the light button, preset button, power or function switch and band switch. The carrying handle is also located on the top. On the back, you have a telescopic FM antenna and a DC input. Studebaker is primarily a CD player and supports all kinds of CDs including CDR and CDRW. It's also a radio since it has a built-in FM tuner. The FM reception is pretty good. 
Studebaker can also be used as a Bluetooth speaker. It features Bluetooth 4.2 with a standard range and reliable connection. Thanks to the AUX input, you can connect some other analog audio source and use the Studebaker as a wired speaker. The player features a 2200 mAh rechargeable battery. At moderate volumes, you will get up to 7 hours of CD playback or up to 15 hours of listening to FM radio. In terms of sound quality, Studebaker is one of the best sounding CD players on this list. It's also one of the loudest players. Unlike some other models, Studebaker has dedicated tweeters and delivers a more spacious and more detailed sound. Things we don't like. Studebaker SB2145 or doesn't have an AM tuner, only FM if you like this kind of design but want a model with AM support, try Studebaker SB2149. We've seen a USB port on much cheaper portable CD players, but Studebaker doesn't have one. Studebaker SB2145R is one of the priciest models on our list of 9 best portable CD players with speakers in 2021 and that could be the biggest deal breaker. Coming in number 3. Jensen CD490. Jensen CD490 is one of the most popular cheap options. Besides the CD player, it has built-in AM and FM tuners, and it also has a 3.5mm audio input. It lacks Bluetooth connectivity, but it would be unreasonable to expect it at this price point. Things we like. In terms of design, Jensen CD490 is fairly similar to other boombox like CD players. It's a little bit more rounded and lighter than average, but it's still a recognizable look. On the top, you have a nice and sturdy handle which, combined with compactness and lightweight, makes this player perfect for portable use. The player comes in four colors including pink or white, blue-black, red-black, and red-white. On the front panel, you have two full-range woofers and a small control panel with playback controls, a tiny LCD display, and a series of LED indicators. Below the control panel, right at the bottom, there are two 3.5mm ports, one headphone output and one standard AUX input. On the top, you have the CD player. On the left end, there's the volume dial and, on the right, you'll see the tuning dial. Input mode selector is located on the left panel and the frequency band selector is on the right. At the back, there's a telescopic antenna and AC power input. The battery compartment is located on the bottom. The player runs on 8 Psi C batteries. To summarize, this cheap device is a portable CD player and a radio. It can also be used as a portable speaker, you can connect any audio source with analog outputs through the AUX input. When running on batteries, Jensen CD490 will deliver up to 8 hours when playing CDs or up to 25 hours when listening to FM radio. You won't be blown away by the sonic performance but, considering the price, you can't really expect more. In fact, when you compare it to much pricier portable CD players, Jensen CD490 delivers more than satisfying performance. Things we don't like. A significant number of customers complained about the durability and reliability of this product. Apparently, this is a poorly built device. We didn't get that impression during our testing period, but you should still be careful and go for more reputable brands if you want to be safe. Coming in number 2. Sony ZSRS60BT. If you are looking for the best and most versatile player under $100, ZSRS60BT could easily be the winner. It's a CD player, it's radio, it can play audio from a USB and it can record anything from a CD to a USB stick. It also features Bluetooth and has the Mega Bass feature. Things we like. Like many other portable CD players with speakers on the market, Sony ZSRS60BT looks like a modern boombox player. It's compact, lightweight, it has a carrying handle on the top, and it can run on batteries. All these things make it perfect for mobile use. On the front panel, you have two 3 in full range woofers. In the middle, there's an LCD display with power and battery indicators. Below the display, you have 5 input mode buttons, playback controls, and buttons for other features. At the bottom, there are the USB port, headphone output, and AUX input. On the top, you have the power button, 3 preset buttons, 2 volume buttons, and a CD player. On the back, there's the FM antenna and AC power input. The battery compartment is located on the bottom. 
The player requires six sized C batteries to operate. The CD player section works flawlessly. It supports CDR, CDRW, and MP3 CDs. One of the most interesting features is recording from a CD to a UBS stick. You can record any song you like in MP3 format from any CD and it's super simple. You just have to press the REC button. AM and FM receptions are both great. You can memorize up to 20 FM stations and up to 10 AM stations. On top of that, you can connect any audio source with an AUX output to the CD player and use the player as a portable speaker. You can even pair your phone with the player and stream music wirelessly. When it comes to mobile use, you need 6 size C batteries. The batteries will deliver up to 25 hours of continuous playback in FM mode. You will get less than that in other modes up to 9 hours of CD playback, up to 15 hours of USB playback or up to 13 hours of wireless streaming via Bluetooth. Those two built-in speakers can get pretty loud for their size but they won't deliver an amazing experience. They are great for mid-centric music and have fairly consistent highs. The bass is good for the speaker's size but definitely lacks some real punch. Luckily, you can change that by engaging the mega bass function. Things we don't like. The player features an outdated Bluetooth version. It works like a charm within a 10 feet range, but anything further than that could cause issues. Coming in number 1. Toshiba TYCWU510. If you are looking for something incredibly versatile and with a bunch of features, including disco lights, Bluetooth connectivity, USB charge out port, FM radio, different EQ modes, etc., Toshiba TYCWU510 is a great choice. It's one of the priciest portable CD players with speakers on this list, but it's definitely worth it. Things we like Toshiba TYCWU510 has an interesting boombox like design. It's fairly light and has a handle on the top which makes it fairly easy to transport. Most of the controls, inputs, and outputs are located on the front panel, right in the middle. At the top, you will see the power button, function or mode button, and a small LCD display. Below, you have all the controls including large volume dial, playback controls, tuning controls, radio preset buttons, mute button, lighting button, and EQ button. At the bottom, there are 3.5mm input, 3.5mm headphone output, and a USB port. The product description says that CWU510 features a micro SD card slot, but that's not true. Only CWU500 has this feature. On the left and right ends of the front panel, you have two 3.5 in full range woofers. The woofers have built-in lights and you can turn them on off by pressing the light button. On the left and right panels, there are two passive bass radiators. On the back, you have the AC power or charging input and FM antenna. The CD player is, as usual, located on the top. Toshiba TYCWU510 is primarily a portable CD player, but it's also an FM radio, it can play audio files from a USB stick, and it can be paired with your phone via Bluetooth. Thanks to the AUX input, you can connect any audio source with analog outputs and use the CD player as a portable speaker. You have so many options to choose from. In CD mode, the player supports regular CDs, CDR, CDRW, and MP3 CDs. Built-in lighting is one of the coolest features and it's great for small indoor-outdoor parties. The player has a built-in rechargeable battery so you don't have to buy batteries all the time. When used for CD playing, the player will deliver 10 hours of playtime. The sound is not amazing but it's better than average. The mids are clear, the highs are fairly consistent but the lows are not that impressive. The player can get pretty loud. One thing to be aware of is that player becomes quieter when battery operated, probably in order to lower the consumption and prolong the playtime. Things we don't like. The product description says that CWU510 features a micro SD card slot, but that's not true. Only CWU500 has this feature. Toshiba CWU510 features only FM radio. There's no AM tuner, so if you want something for listening to AM radio stations, you should look elsewhere.